I'm Steve. I'm out on the bike today and I've come to have a look at some of the underground stations that are being built as part of Crossover Rail. So let's go and have a look at what we can see from above ground. We start our journey behind the back of the Princess Alexandra Hospital, where a new pedestrian and cycle bridge is being built to go over to the new Bogo Road station. The main support in one of the sections has already been installed and another section was ready to be lifted into place. Behind this scaffolding is the new support ready to hold this span in place. And looking the other way, these piles have been installed for the ramp that'll lead up to the bridge. And I thought this hook on this crane was impressive, it was just absolutely massive. Next I cycled up to the Bogo Road precinct, but on the way I had a good look at the tunnel portal. So this side is where northbound trains will go down into the tunnel and southbound trains will emerge. And standing on a fence I could peek over and see a bit into the tunnels. So from up here on the Bogo Road side, you can see the progress on the bridge here. But apart from all these temporary construction offices, not a lot has been built above the surface here yet. Mostly all we can see is cranes, concrete pumps, excavators, and things like that. Apparently this crane's name is Jane. And we can get a slightly better look of that installed bridge span. Now I had hoped that I'd be able to see a bit more from the busway station, but you can't really see that much from here yet. So I jumped back on the bike and I made my way over to Wool and Gabba station. And there really needs to be a better connection here to the Gabba bikeway, it's not great. So they've made some good progress on this station utility building. I think this is going to house things like electrical transformers, ventilation equipment, and will form part of the station entrance building. You could see some pipe work through the opening, and perhaps chillers or something as part of the air conditioning system will go behind this steel structure. And this crane's being used to lift everything into place. A concrete wall was being built between the busway and the station. You could just get a small glimpse of the shafts down into the station box here. And I believe this access ramp is no longer required, so it will be removed soon. Well, it's a new day. Uh, I ran out of light and camera battery uh, the other day, so now I'm back here in the city uh, on a different mode of transport. I've got the scooter today. Uh, and we're going to have a look at Albert Street and also Roma Street. So this is the construction side towards the George Street end of Albert Street. Uh, and at the moment we can just see some cranes here, but not a lot else yet, unfortunately. And across Albert Street is the acoustic shed, which was used as part of the tunnel boring process. There are a lot of temporary construction offices built here as well, over the pedestrian underpass. I got a bit of a glimpse through the fence here, and this is where the main station entrance is going to be. Now a bit further to the north, on Albert Street, there's going to be a secondary entrance here, which is closer to Queen Street Mall. And there's a tower crane over the shaft here. We can get a bit of a glimpse in here through the construction fence, but not a lot has been built out of the ground yet. Next I came to Roma Street, where this acoustic shed still stands, and just like the other sites, there are a lot of temporary construction offices here as well. And over here, part of the station building was starting to emerge, which is exciting to see. And poking my camera over the construction hoardings, I could get a bit of a better view of it. And down the other end of the site, this services building is taking shape over here. It's hard to tell what this is going to look like since it's covered completely in scaffolding. And around the back we could get a little bit of a glimpse into this hallway. And to round out the day, I came and had a look at the Northern Tunnel Portal in Spring Hill. Now you get a bit of a look at this when you go down the inner city bypass, but before this visit I hadn't tried to come down and see it from this side. I found that you get a pretty good view from the bike path here, and you can poke your camera up over the fence to get a good look. So this is the descent and ascent to and from the tunnel. You can see some supporting beams along the top there. And everything around here is starting to look more and more complete. So this side is actually where they took the tunnel boring machines out after they'd been launched from Wollongabba and they'd bored the tunnels all the way through to here. And a lot of this finishing concrete work has been done since then. Now I was hoping that I would be able to get a good view looking back across this pedestrian bridge, but I actually found that it was closed. So the best I could do was looking back from the bikeway here. So this is actually above the tunnel and it looks like there's just some earthwork to do. Now looking back towards the tunnel entrance, you can actually see there is some new track there on the left, so it's exciting to see that go in. So a couple of days later I returned to Bogo Road and I found that that bridge span was all rigged up to be lifted. So I talked to a traffic controller and he actually said that they'd intended to lift it that morning but they couldn't because of the wind. That was a really really windy weekend. You can see in the straps here that it's quite a complicated rigging that they have to set up. And they'd also put this temporary metal platform on the left that they were going to lift the bridge pier onto. And on the way out I noticed they'd removed the tracks at Dutton Park Station and I thought they were just doing some raising or lowering of the tracks here. 
and the next day I came back and they'd actually managed to lift that bridge piece into place onto that temporary support. So it looks like there's just one more section to be put in place before they can do the suspension of that main span. And coming back around, I was surprised to find that the whole Dutton Park station had actually been demolished. So this was part of the track possession that they had for the Easter holiday, and there was a whole lot of trucks uh, taking away material from the site. You can see that the dual gauge lines here have mainly been left as they were, but the other lines have been completely removed, as well as the station platforms. So this is from the Annerley Road Bridge, and this is where the station will be moving to. And you can also see some new overhead wire gantries that have appeared since my last video here. And the formed up concrete platform here is where the pedestrian overpass will come from. Well, that was a bit of a look at what we can see of all the underground sections of Cross River Rail from up here on the surface. I hope you enjoyed that. It's really exciting to see some tracks starting to appear. Uh, thanks so much to everyone who's already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, please do. And if you give the video a like and leave a comment, that helps YouTube to suggest it to other people. Thank you, and catch you next time.